Did you know there's evidence of warfare dated to be 14,000 years old? And since then, the devastations of war have only grown with larger settlements and advancements in technology. While the motives behind war can vary from ideological beliefs to disputes over territory, the fact remains that loss is always high and the psychological impact can last for generations. Perhaps the single most famous and powerful anti-war painting is Picasso's Guernica. Completed by June 1937, the mural-sized oil painting by the Spanish artist is believed to be a response to the bombing of Guernica in northern Spain by German and Italian warplanes at the request of Spanish nationalists. A woman grieves over a dead child, buildings are in fire, a horse screams in agony, a dismembered soldier lies on the floor clutching a broken sword with a flower growing out of it. On his other hand are marks, perhaps the stigma, a symbol of martyrdom derived from the stigmata of Christ. At the top is a bright light bulb watching over like an evil eye. Perhaps it's a reference to the bare bulb of the torturer's cell or a wordplay for the Spanish word for light bulb, which sounds like bomb. A woman appearing to float from a room holds up a flame lit lamp to the light bulb, a symbol of hope. Anne Mee Lee is an American photographer whose work examines the representations of war. Lee, who was born in Saigon, fled as a teenager during the final year of the war and settled in the U.S. as a political refugee. In small wars, Lee photographed and participated in Vietnam War reenactments in South Carolina. In these elaborate war games, the participants are mostly men, some veterans, other history buffs, who simulate combat and war routines with detailed props including grounded airplanes, tents, and uniforms. It blurs reality and fiction without any telltale signs with the exception of the vegetation. The typical North American pine and oak forest is nothing like the dense tropical jungle that covers much of Vietnam. The artist also inserts herself in the photographs, playing roles including a translator and a member of the Viet Cong. Rather than mocking their actions, she is sensitive to the fact that the motivations behind these actions are a complex web of psychological need, fantasy, and a passion for history. They're highly theatrical, raising questions about the reliability of historical accounts and how wars are retold and remembered. Willie Doherty is a contemporary filmmaker and photographer from Northern Ireland. Much of his work focuses on his native city of Derry, also known as Londonderry, a city much affected by the Northern Ireland Troubles and the site of both the Battle of Bogside and the Bloody Sunday Incident. The city is split by a river, with opposing ideological positions on either side. The Craigavon Bridge is a point of connection between the Protestant and the Catholic communities in the city. In his 2002 video, Rerun, Doherty shows a panicked man dressed in a suit running across the Craigavon Bridge at night. Shown as a double projection, the man simultaneously runs in both directions as the video shows the man from both the front and the back. Historically, the bridge was the only means of traveling between the two sides of the city, making it a strategic site that was frequently bombed. Perhaps the most iconic image of an atomic bomb is the one dropped over Nagasaki on August 9, 1945, three days after the atomic bomb of Hiroshima. The photograph was taken by Charles Levy from one of the B-29 superfortresses used in the attack. Even though the crew was 30,000 feet up off the ground and 200 miles from the bomb, Levy was knocked over from the blast before taking 16 photographs of the destruction. In 2004, the National Archives magazine, Prologue, named this image as one of the top 10 requested images. A. Lisiatla is a video artist and photographer who lives and works in Helsinki. Where is Where is a multi-screen installation that crafts a narrative connecting two violent acts during the French-Algerian War in the 1950s. French soldiers dragged 40 Algerian male villagers out of their beds and executed them. In another incident, two Algerian boys murder their French friend. In the present day, a European poet seeks to understand and interpret this event with the aid of the character death. The storylines mix and overlap in place and time. It explores social and political histories that are careful to include the individual, personal experience. 
It relates to past colonial conflicts as much as contemporary encounters between different worldviews and the ways in which they may be reconciled. May have gone over my five minutes a bit there, but you know, while war isn't fun, like, at all, it's important to talk about. These works not only tell us these stories while questioning how they should be told, they also are an important reminder of their significance, both their impact on that time and its effect on us today. Thanks so much for watching till the end of this episode of 5 Artists in 5 Minutes, and guess what? This is the 20th episode of this series, which, assuming that each one is exactly 5 minutes, which I know they aren't, but bear with me here. That means there's a hundred minutes of this series, which I don't know, I'm pretty proud of myself. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. They're definitely really interesting for me to make them personally. And if you haven't already caught up, I'll leave a link for a playlist of all the ones I've made so far in the description bar below so you could go ahead and watch them all. You know, marathon. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.